Zamora Road is one of San Antonio's most dangerous roads, especially for people who walk along it. That's according to the city's transportation department. It's so concerning the U.S. Department of Transportation awarded San Antonio $4 million to make it safer. Pedestrians tell the night team's Camelia Juarez a safety initiative is long overdue. Honking, cars speeding by. This is what Jazzy Perez hears from drivers as she walks to the bus stop with her son. They don't notice nobody. <laughs> they just go, they'll take off. They, they're always on the rush, rush. Perez says this stretch of Zazamora Street from Cincinnati to Southwest Military is dangerous. There's a lot of accidents and people can't even cross the streets anymore. Between 2016 and 2020, there were 43 serious injuries and 13 fatalities. The Department of Transportation granted the city's pedestrian safety program, Vision Zero, with $4 million to build eight mid-block crosswalks from Cincinnati Avenue near Woodlawn Park down to Southwest Military. Director of Transportation Tamika Monterville says medians attached to the crosswalks will hopefully change drivers' behavior. You have to pay more attention because you can't look at your phone and, and drive down the street when you know there's a median there. The Safer Streets for All grant was awarded in part because the population along Zazamora has a low income and has been historically underserved. Essentially, we recognize that parts of our city are still suffering from the disparate treatment. A portion of the grant will go towards safety education for drivers and pedestrians. Acapulco barbershop owner Adrian Gonzalez says a lot of his customers are pedestrians, and part of the education should go towards changing attitudes. Sometimes people don't respect the people that walk in the street. The crosswalks will have trees, foliage, and a section for pedestrians to stand. The project is set to be complete within the next two years. Camelia Juarez, KSAT 12 News.